Welcome to the Double D Ranch. Follow along as we establish our homestead. Hey everyone, um, my name is Nicole if you don't know me. Um, Aaron and I, my husband, decided to um, start up a YouTube channel and um, put some videos on our Facebook page so y'all can uh, watch and see what's going on on the ranch. Um, we own Double D Ranch. Um, my main name starts with a D and our current last name starts with a D, so Double D Ranch. Um, we have four children. And my father lives with us as well. Um, they all help out taking care of all the animals. Um, we currently have 11 goats, 12 chickens, a house dog, two of them, um, Sam and Sophie, a German Shepherd and a Cocker Spaniel. Uh, we have two house cats and on my lap right now is one of our three barn cats. This is Baxter. Um, we rescued our barn cats. Someone had uh, abandoned them at a uh, house when they moved out. So um, we took them home. There was actually five that they uh, abandoned. Two, the other two went to another farm. Um, I don't know how anyone abandoned these cats because you can see how loving he is and uh, happy, happy that we rescued him. <laughs> Um, behind me is our 11 goats. I am in the barn right now. We live in the northern part of Michigan's um, lower peninsula. Um, it has been just crazy windy this past week, but hey, you know, it's 55 degrees and sunny, so I guess I'll take that because tomorrow we could wake up and there could be um, five inches of snow. So, hey. We'll take win. Um, my husband Aaron is a lineman for Charter Spectrum. He is currently um, out right now fixing the cable. Uh, it is <laughs> very important right now because of uh, everyone is at home uh, either working or um, doing their schoolwork from home, so you know. He's out there fixing it so y'all can do that. Um, I am a registered nurse. I work in the recovery room of our um, local hospital's OR. Um, right now, thank God we don't have too many patients um, and the OR is um, a little slow because the people that don't absolutely need to be in the hospital are not. Um, trying to keep them all out so they don't get this crazy virus everyone's getting. Um, my father is a, you know stays at home, um, helps with the animals, helps with the kids. Um, I have four of them, as I said. Um, my oldest is 13. Um, his name is Landon, and then we have Lauren. She's 12. Lexi is eight, or I'm sorry, nine, <laughs> and Lainey is eight. Um, so starting next week, we are going to start homeschooling. So this should be interesting because I originally went for teaching when I got out of high school and I decided that was not for me and became a nurse. And I guess God laughed and said, here, have four kids and teach them at home. So I guess that's what we'll do. I give all your te all you teachers out there props because I could not handle 30 of them. Um, so, back to our ranch. Um, we have, like I said, 11 goats. Three of our does right now are pregnant and due any day. So hopefully um, soon I'll have a video on that. 
Um, I'm gonna try and uh, do some editing on this video and kind of show you how uh, Aaron made a milk stand so we can get ready to milk. Um, I'm gonna make goat soap. We're not gonna drink milk um, from the goats. We are really milk drinkers. Um, we might try it though. We did try Walmart's milk, uh, goat milk, and we didn't like it. Um, but you never know. Our own farm fresh goat's milk may be better. I mean, we eat our eggs and um, believe that 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 those eggs are better for us because we know where they came from. Um, here any day now, we're gonna get some meat birds, um, which the kids aren't happy about, but. Um, we feel that that too will be a lot more healthier for them because we know exactly where it came from. Um, next on the agenda is uh, meat, uh, pigs, um, and then maybe next year a cow or two. Um, if you all know me, I, I'm obsessed with Scotland. Um, and when I was over there, I fell in love with the Highland cows. So our plan is to to get um, a couple of Highland cows as fur pets. Um, as you see going on right there is um, we call her Queen Maisie. She is queen of the herd. Um, and that is Annabelle right there. She is uh, new. She's a peach. She is new to our herd. Um, she was a little, oh, she's amazing. She was a little aggressive um, towards the you know, the farm she came from, um, towards their pet pigs. So she has her horns, she's not disbudded. Um, so she was kind of, you know, puncturing the pig. So she's here. And she is not top of the, the chain here. Um, Queen Maisie and King Buddy, our weather um, kind of puts everybody in their place, which makes me mad at times, but that's what happens. Um, so our goats, we have 11. The three on this side are our pregnant does. We have two Nubians and a mini Nubian. Um, mini Nubians are a cross between a Nigerian dwarf and a Nubian, so they're kind of smaller. Um, we also, on this side, we have um, two mini Nubian bucks. Um, <laughs> Maisie is a mini Nubian doe. She is, oh, five years old or something like that. And then uh, we have another yearling doe, mini Nubian. Um, and then, I'm trying to think, we have Buddy, who I don't know what he is, but he's a huge goat. Uh, my daughter Lexi rides him. Those two are best buds. It's her goat. I kind of think he's a, a PIA. He's very, very friendly, but too friendly, and he hogs all your attention. And then, well, like I said, he's the king, so um, if he doesn't want you in the barn, he's not going to let you in the barn. Um, and Maisie, if she doesn't want you in the barn, she's not going to let you in the barn. Um, she tells you when you can eat. If she's eaten and she doesn't want you to eat, you don't eat. Um, but they're fun to watch. The one right here, you can see that's Joy. Um, she's a mini Nubian doe. She is so cute when she runs. Um, that's why her name's Joy, because she jumps for Joy literally when she gets around and playing. Um, we have one Nigerian. Um, his name is Blue. He's white with blue eyes. Um, he's a weather. Um, we have two weathers. We have four boys um, out of the 11. Um, two are weathers and two are our bucks. Um, they're mini Nubians. Uh, we have Vincent Van Goat and Willie. Um, Vincent is the father of two of these does. Um, the one Nubian we got, Nellie, um, she spotted. She had already been bred. Um, before we got her. And then Nova, who's a Nubian, and then Emma, who's a mini Nubian, um, are pregnant by Vincent. Um, since Vincent's a mini Nubian, and Nova right there is a um, Nubian, 
there'll be many Nubian babies. Um, you get to the sixth generation and then they're a pure red Nubian, but they're all registered um, under the Michigan, or not Michigan, the National Dairy Goat Association or something like that. I really don't know. And I have to look at the papers. Um, but, uh, where was I going with this? Oh, and then we have um, two does. Um, that aren't disbudded. All of our goats, except for two of them, are disbudded. Um, Charlotte, who's an alpine mix, um, and then uh, Annabelle, who's an alpine mix, still have their horns. Um, when we have these kids soon, they will be disbudded. It breaks my heart to have to do it, but um, like Annabelle was probably would still be on her farm if she didn't have the horns and was um, attacking the pig. Uh, Charlotte will get under the fence and get her horns stuck. So it's kind of a necessary evil. Um, we do it when they're like a week old so they don't ever remember it. Um, Blue over there is disbudded but his horns started growing back so they're kind of all like misshapen. Um, oh, looks like our our boys are in and they're together right there. I don't know if you can see them, see? Oh, so cute. And then that Charlotte right there, the black one, um, she's Lauren's goat. Um, and then Blue and Buddy, those are our weathers. See how giant Buddy is? He's giant. And then Joy and Emma are right there. They are best buddies when they're not separated. Joy's not pregnant and Emma is, so they gotta be separated. Um, and then there is Nellie and Nova, our Nubians. Those two are very, very sweet girls. All of our goats pretty much are um, friendly. Um, more than others. Uh, Emma over there, she'll be the friendliest goat, but when she's done getting pet, she's like, I've had enough. Um, but I like to come out here. It's relaxing. It's peaceful um, to sit out here with the goats. Usually I'm out in the sun, but it is so windy out here right now. You guys probably couldn't hear what I'm saying. Well, i here. Uh, Annabelle, I guess, is not allowed in here right now. Um, so I think Blue kind of thinks he's uh, the prince or something over there. See him getting after Joy. Joy is actually going after something that he wants. But you guys, I am so excited about our baby goats. So much so that... Um, I had Aaron install some cameras so I can watch them on my phone. I wake up in the middle of the night and I check out my goats to make sure that they're not in labor or, you know, something's happening out here that, you know, I should be out here helping because I really want to record it and I really want to make sure everybody is uh, doing what they're supposed to. Sorry. my. Words don't like to come out the way that they should. Um, so I'm going to try and take the camera outside. Um, I apologize if you really can't hear me. Um, I'll show you some of our 36 acres or so, um, 15 of it. Um, we farm. We have a farmer that actually comes out and pays it for us, which feeds our goats. So that's helpful because uh, we don't have to pay for hay. And um, the only thing we really pay for is grain um, and our chicken feed. Um, so the 15 acres is hay. Uh, we have a little section of woods right there that we have like trails through and we have mini bikes over there um, that we like to uh, take through the woods in a go-kart. Um, our friends come over, half their, those mi actually almost all of those mini bikes right there across the barn are theirs. Um, we have two ponds, one up front by the road, it's kind of like a cattail pond, and then one out back, which is gorgeous. Then we take our um, 
kayaks back there and kind of like just mosey around it. Um, we have a huge sand pit <clears throat> that we, uh, an excavator comes out and gets some sand out of there and eventually it'll be a shooting range. Uh, we have two gardens. Um, we currently started some seeds inside, so it's kind of exciting. We're gonna grow our own vegetables this year. Um, we're gonna have our own vegetables. We'll have our own milk if we need it. Um, we have our own eggs. We'll have our own meat birds, um, eventually pigs and cows. So we're trying to make this uh, ranch kind of a, a self-sufficient, so you know, we don't have to depend on the store as much as we do now. Um, especially in times like now, you know, we don't have to run to the stores often for our food because we already have it. Um, so yeah, so let's go outside right now while the wind is uh, down and uh, we'll see kind of like what's going on here. So that is our field that we hay. Um, there is the cattail a pond. Um, down the barn right here um, will be one of our gardens. Um, and then across the way over there we'll have another garden. Um, here's the barnyard. Uh, halfway section. So the, the mix of them can be together and then the pregnant does are together. Um, I like to come out and sit in that chair. <laughs> Right there, that's kind of blown over, and just sit and watch them. And then we have our chickens over there with their run. Um, over on the other side, over there, that will be another garden. Um, and then there is our sand pit, which will eventually be a uh, shooting range. Um, Aaron hunts. I like to just target practice um, around the corner here. Is the house. Um, that barn right there, that garage I should say right there is Aaron's garage, Aaron's man cave, um, and soon to be um, our Double D Ranch bar, so that'll be fun. Queen Maisie is right here, um, and then Annabelle, the new goat with the horns is back there. Uh, this is our whole barn, which the goats live in. Um, Hopefully this uh, summer we're going to paint this and it'll have a new coat of red. Um, and Baxter. Well guys, um, I hope to, after, you know, this little spiel of me, uh, to kind of show you how Aaron made everything. Um, the milk stand and the little kid huts. Um, so anyways, thanks for watching and uh, look for more videos. Here Aaron is making the warming huts for the babies. Um, he's putting a screen in the hole that the light will go into in case the glass breaks it won't get the babies. We got these 55 gallon drums from the supply store down the road. They had basil and soy sauce in them and they smelled amazing. Yeah, right.
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.